James, here we are at Ifley Road, coaching here this year. What do you make of the role and are you looking forward to it? Uh, it's, it's sort of mind-blowing in a way. I, I sort of came in two or three weeks ago from my first session and the chairman and the president did a, did a talk up in the pavilion. I was looking forward to it. I was very excited about what everything was going to uh, go ahead. A few, I spoke to a few people, but when they started talking about the heritage, what it meant, the fact that it's five all in this century and uh, it, we have to, we have to win, uh, etc. They sort of got the buzz going straight away and uh, yeah, it's, it's been a, a bit of an experience so far, I must admit. Find out a bit more about yourself, heavily involved in the professional side of the game, sale where you met Captain John Carter in London Wasps now. Yeah, um, I'm the uh, high performance manager at Wasps um, and, and that's going pretty well at the moment, I hope. And uh, we've we started the season pretty well. This is a, this is a different sort of uh, aspect of the game, I think, here in that we're trying to be as professional as possible. And we're trying to bring some of the elements out of the professional game into, into this environment for the boys as best as we can. But they've got to manage that with their, their education as well. So that's, uh, that's a challenge for them in itself. Yeah, how do you bring the professional ethic into one of the last great amateur games? I think that's what you know, you've just said yourself. Really. Ethics is, is the key. Uh, you know, being professional is not about being paid. We've given them information. We've given them the facilities. They've been in the gym. They've been in their pre-season training three or four times a day. They're now doing Pilates and things like that. And they've got all the information there for them. Um, so we're just trying to help them through those situations, balance that with education, balance that with their social life, obviously, as, as students as well. Um, and it's a, you know, it's a short season. It's over in December, second week of December. They can enjoy the rest of the year, really. This is the time that they've got to put the work in. You're involved in professional rugby every day. How different is this? At the moment, the pressure's slightly less here because we're enjoying ourselves and it's pre-season. I think when we get closer and closer to December, like I said last week, when the guys were talking about the actual varsity match itself, um, that, that was proving to uh, get everyone going, as I said. But um, week in, week out, I think the pressure at the top end and, and uh, what has to be done at the top end means that probably there's more smiles on their faces around here when they're, when they're running around. How do you manage to balance the two roles? Uh, it's not too bad actually at the moment because um, my role at Wasps is, is less sort of functioning on the fit on the on the pitch. So here I'm, I'm very much hands on, which I'm really enjoying getting back to doing some of that, and uh, it keeps me it keeps me ticking over really. So so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And quite an exciting coaching team under you as well. Yeah, Charlie's coming in. Uh, obviously, I know Charlie Hodgson from uh, Sale Days, and I've, we're bringing Marco Wenzel up to do some work on the lineouts, and then we've got Jagsy, who's obviously. He's sort of helping me in, in learning about the, the whole blues and the varsity situation and the heritage and also the traditions within training, the traditions within the club that there are and the systems that have to be followed. So um, I think we've got a really good balance actually because we're bringing people in from the professional game, like I say, Charlie's great experience and um, I'm sure there'll be a few other guest coaches that we've managed to, to bring in along the way as well. And all building up to that game, second Thursday in December, how exciting is that going to be? Yeah, uh, to be honest, uh, you know, <laughs> I, uh, I, drive, I spend a lot of time in the car at the moment and uh, it does come into my head quite a bit of sort of building up to it already. So for these players now, um, I think that, that that's all that they've got in their mind. They're, they're totally you know, focused on that. And um, it's, you know, it, it's like being drawn into a cup final. You know you, you know you qualify for the cup final. We've just got time to prepare for it. And uh, we're certainly going to do that. And um, come, come December, I think we'll be ready. And of course, Sean Edwards at Wasps has been involved with Cambridge for the last few years. Been a bit of banter about that? Um, well, I'm not sure because Sean's been away with Wales for the World Cup. Um, so I'm waiting for him to come back and then I'm sure the banter will start, uh, especially as um, you know, we're aiming to entertain on the day as well. So uh, his defensive uh, policies will be, uh, I'm hoping there's some more banter after the game. Like that. And you of all people should know a way around it. Uh, I wouldn't say that. I think there's a few coaches that have tried to find a way around it in the past, but... Um, I'm hoping we'll spring a few surprises, yeah.